Hey everybody, how we doing today? Ugh, the wind. I was actually planning on taking this week off because it's 15 to 25s all week. But I took a gut punch to all about the bait, so I said, screw it, I gotta get out in the water regardless. I'm over here by Shark Channel, but as you can see, ugh. So I think I'm going to revise the plan and uh, check out the Gulf side for something. Ugh. Although these windy days have been a hindrance on the fishing, it, it, ha it has allowed me to be more productive on other stuff. Uh, the car got a new radiator and electric fan. I was only able to go one short trip a day without having to refill it. And then I didn't even know the electric fan never worked got the kayak registered still need a, to uh, transfer the numbers up top here that's my next project new front tires that resolved a huge amount of issues I was about ready to throw this car away it's vibrating and popping and skipping the the beads were rolling off cracking but man that fixed it. it is smooth one finger turning nice painted up all the rust spots with some uh, rust conversion paint Got this heavy duty uh, duct tape from 3M. 10 bucks a roll, but super sticky, super heavy duty. And covered up these so they won't rust anymore. And I've got the stuff to take off the rust. What else we got? Oh, permanently drilled in the uh, bases because I was worried about it because it's getting rusty. So I just uh, put uh, reinforcements into the top uh, metal frame there so those aren't going anywhere. I'll even fix these windshield wipers as well as the fronts. Cars registered as well. Put another layer of uh, plastic welding on this to reinforce that there. So I've been busy. All right, I end up switching over to the Gulf View Park boat ramp. So this is the Gulf side. You saw how windy it was over Atlantic. So. Coming out of the east, southeast is just uh, too much. So coming on this side, hopefully I could uh, find some shelter. I'm going to try to hit, uh, I think it's called Duck Key. Not the Duck Key in Islam Rod area, but Duck Key down here or it's Duck Hawk Key or something like that. And there's kind of a sheltered cove in there and I'm just going to work that flats today. So uh, I've got the ladder, but I brought the spinning rail uh, gear, the uh, Eskies. And uh, I decided not to do fly because it's actually close to three o'clock. So I only have like three, eight, four hours before it gets dark. So go out there. Um, I've got a couple of little things I'm going to test out and then uh, see if we can catch something. At the minimum, I got out. All right, we made it out to the first backcountry flats here. Uh, boat launch is just basically right there. So this is the first key and this, this is the uh, flats that I'm going to work. The wind is basically blowing straight across this way, so there'll be a few sheltered little bays out here that I'm going to kind of sit in and work. We're at really, really low tide. I haven't seen it this low before in a long time, but we're kind of going to be angling towards flats fishing, so that's maybe not such a bad deal. It should be on an upcoming tide, so that might be a little bit helpful, but uh, let's get in a little pocket and then I'm going to rig up. These little guys, uh, maybe a couple of inches deep but there's fish here I don't want to spook them oh there he goes <laughs> oh. see if he'll come and get me so those are the kind of fish I might play with right now all right, we're seeing a little bit of uh, activity, so that's good. Um, I'm actually getting a little excited here. But uh, what I'm doing is uh, throwing these little uh, bonefish jigs, flats jigs they call them. They've got a little triangle head, but it's a flat, so it keeps the hook point facing up, and then it, you could bounce it along the bottom. Uh, they generally have, well, there, there is a couple of uh, mono weed guards there. You bend them up. And uh, I get them from uh, West Marine for like a couple bucks. These are Wahoo. They're the kind of uh, 
cheap jig makers, but they call it a bonefish uh, bucktail jig. I just use brown or white, got a bunch of different colors. This is the one eighth. I prefer the quarter for being able to cast, get through these winds, but they've been out of them. But yeah, pretty good. And then I put a piece of a chunk of shrimp on it just for a little bit of scent as well. But that's what we're gonna be working. I think I'm gonna go around this bend out of this wind and then I'm gonna just walk around because it's a couple of inches so and see what we can catch. Maybe even those little dink sharks. Well, I'm glad I brought the, the ladder so I have some decent visibility when the sun's out. Plus being really low tide. I'm just looking for any type of movement, whether it be just ripples in the water, shadows, wakes, anything. Well, the wind kind of shifted. Now it's blowing directly out of the east this way. So it's blowing up this uh, little bay originally thought I was going to be able to work when it was kind of coming out of the southeast. So although it's kind of laid down here, it's only because it's three or four inches, but that wind is full force through here. So I'm gonna work this cut where the uh, channel that goes through there and then get on the other side and see if uh, that's any better. The only problem is that side doesn't have any flats like this. It's more uh, crab grass, but uh, you never know. So we'll take a look there saw some movement over here in the sand so I'm gonna go check it out all right there's a fishy right there can't tell what it is oh there he is he's got it he's got it There we go. <laughs> oh! Loosen the drag for this guy. <laughs> nice. Sure, no other big boys around me. Good practice. Oh no, 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 no. Stay away from there. All right. I just want to make sure I don't lose my jig. Or get bitten in the toe. All right, Jaws, let's get rid of you. Oh, no! Oh no, lost the jig. No, no, no! Dang it! Dang it! The other thing I'm testing today, and that's a good indication that it works, is this uh, Super Shrimps. They're uh, chum pellets. So it's like uh, basically dried pellet fish food for tropical fish and such but it's basically 80% uh, shrimp and then they've got uh, crustaceans mollusks mixed in with it shellfish and it's got all these basically uh, comes in a chum bag with a bunch of pellets now I wasn't too sure about it until I smelled it and it smells just like dried shrimp and you can just kind of scatter them around and they're different sized pellets so they're supposed to last between two hours and six hours i wanted something for like these conditions where i only have a limited area to work with and that's it i can't go way out there with white capping and really do anything on the flats but i scattered just a little handful out there and that shark was just going crazy just in search mode trying to find that and that's why I hooked that thing up so I'm gonna try to I'll throw a little bit more out in the sand spot and then I'm gonna do the same thing over here in this outlet and uh, kind of see what uh, it pulls but 
that'll be a good thing if this stuff works. But it's uh, $15 at West Marine. I had a, a $10 uh, gold member coupon so it only cost me five bucks in the end so I figured I'd give it a sh try but as, as soon as I smelled it I knew it would work because it just smells just like a, a dried dehydrated shrimp smells like so once it's in the water it just starts uh, uh, breaking apart so and then each pound is equal to six pounds of fresh shrimp and this is a two pound bag so 12 pounds worth there but we'll keep checking it out. I'd like to see if it works or not. Got all excited because I thought there was a school of bonefish with those damn mullets everywhere. Don't want those. I see some fins. Pretty sure it's a nurse shark though. See it flick right there. But you never know what might be with it. Let's see if it's gonna pick it up or not. No. Where'd it go? Perfect. Not interested. Put it right on its back. it swimming right over it and gone all right we're back we're all loaded up but I kind of want to do another test uh, I'm getting intrigued by this stuff uh, as you can see I'm going to drop it right here where there's nothing around just put a few there and then I'm gonna put a few on the concrete just to see what happens wow you can see already look at those dudes those little gobies or whatever man they're just attacking it I know you probably can't see it, but the mangrove snapper started to come as well. I don't know if they're attracted to all these bait fish eating those things up. But man, they're just all, each, each, each pellet has a circle of bait fish around them. Little gobies. Yeah, I don't see them. There's the mangrove snappers. Whoa! It's starting a feeding frenzy. Are done on the way home. I was a good stress reliever day. I'm happy I just said screw it and went out after that all about the bait gut punch. But now I have to go home and deal with it. But uh, yeah, caught a shark. Can't complain. Hit the tide just right. I love that uh, waiting now more than ever kind of fish hunting. But uh, that new shrimp pellet stuff intrigues me so I want to play with that stuff a little bit more I'm thinking uh, it's still gonna be windy like this for another couple of days so I might burn a day tomorrow and um, go out to the shark channel that flats that I always hit that goes right along the channel and the mangroves dump some of that stuff out there and see what happens 
that'll be a little bit better test because it has today I, I just could not get out of the wind uh, my predictions on where the wind was going to be was just not right uh, but over there it'll definitely be uh, a lot uh, calmer areas and I can kind of see what that stuff will pull I have a feeling it's going to work out really well what and that's kind of what I want it for is to uh, on these windy windy days when I don't have a lot of uh, working room being able to have those pellets and throwing them out there and uh, maybe attract some bonefish or something and even on these calmer days I'll kind of want to take it out to the backcountry there and uh, hit some of the spots where I know that those bonefish are coming up and kind of pepper those areas and maybe uh, get them up uh, a little bit quicker and make them hold a little better so uh, yeah new toy to play with I always enjoy that kind of stuff do my R&D but uh, anyways, uh, thanks for watching, and I'll see you next video.